I see another really tough loss out there. How did you see it? Yeah, obviously extremely disappointed. Um, I think we cracked in and fought really hard all game. Um, and for the second week in a row, it was a, it was a really tough competitive game. Um, we definitely matched it with two of the best teams in the comp. Um, so yeah, extremely disappointed, but there is uh, confidence that we can match it there. Um, tidy a few little things up and hopefully we get on, on the better end of a few results there. The last couple of weeks probably feel like we've dominated the game, but the scoreboard hasn't really reflected that in our favour. Is that how it feels for you guys out there? Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah, like I said, we, def we feel like we're doing heaps right out there, um, especially that contest um, and the way we're defending. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting opportunities, we just need to tidy up a few little things um, in our attacking half, make the most of a few more opportunities um, and hopefully that puts a bigger score on the board and the rest of the game keeps looking after itself. And some of the other positives that you've seen, obviously we're leaving with, with no points but there's a lot of positives for our team at the moment. Yeah, there definitely is. Um, I think most people are playing their role really well. Um, whoever it is, Drape's coming in as a young player, he's matching it with um, genuine key, key um, forwards in the competition, so that's a positive. Um, Sharpie's really found his groove on the wing, he's been great for us. Um, the midfield as a whole are matching it and bettering a lot of the, op uh, the opposition, so um, yeah, there's lots of positives, we just need to tidy a little bit up. Now Port Adelaide's midfield's obviously star started. was there a lot of focus going into them coming into this game? Yeah, there definitely was, we knew um, yeah, they have a lot of strengths and if you let them get on top they're really damaging. Um, but yeah, I guess, yeah, again, we have a lot of um, trust in, in the group in there. They're extremely competitive, hardworking, and um, yeah, we'll back them in against anyone. It was a fairly low scoring game, so JT's three goals in the, in the second quarter were huge. Yeah, it was a pretty good little purple patch there for JT. Um, he just competes so hard, and when he runs and jumps and takes those marks, it's, it's great to see. But um, yeah, he's, he's improving every, every game. He's still so young, so. Um, yeah, him and Jai up there and then Tabs providing really good uh, contests all the time. What was JL's messaging at half time? We obviously knew Port weren't going to stop coming at us. Yeah, it was probably that. Um, acknowledging they're a great team so they could throw some different things at us but um, yeah, it was more just to keep trying to do the things we were doing well. Um, yeah, a lot was going right. We felt like we were in a good position for the game. Um, so yeah. We did a lot right, we just need to finish um, the end a little bit better. And a couple of other positives from today, obviously the skipper, Moose, was absolutely huge out there. How did you see his game? Yeah, just again, his, his um, start of the year has been amazing. Um, he's hardly losing a contest at all, but he's, he's winning most and um, setting us up the other way. So yeah, he's been leading so well and it gives so much confidence when the big guys are... Yeah, winning their contest and, and probably Lukey Ryan in that last quarter was probably one of the best quarters I've seen. He was um, just so good in the air and winning basically everything that came his way. Now you've obviously transitioned to a more backline role. How you, have you seen that transition for you? It's been seamless it seems. Yeah, I've been loving it. Um, I've, I've done a fair bit over my career so I feel like I play it well but um, yeah, I'm loving the group back there. I have pretty clear, or a pretty clear role there which I'm feeling I can execute well each week um, and yeah, try and team up with Clarkie especially and then uh, help Walks out a bit and um, yeah, Dooza back there, all these guys, yeah, it's great fun and um, yeah, I think we're, we're going pretty well. Now we've obviously been on the road for about 10 days now, we're we looking forward to getting back home and gearing up for a big RAC derby. Yeah, of course, yeah, we've had a good, good time away, I was pretty disappointed but um, yeah, the guys are keen to get home, uh, I think we've got two home games starting with the, the Derby so we're, we're looking forward to that um, and yeah hopefully the fans come out and we, we have a good game.